Hey folks, this is uh, Manic Mark coming to you from passenger side part of the truck. I installed a um, ladder rack, a ladder rack. And while I was doing that, I had to get under the truck and I noticed that the rear shocks were working perfectly fine, but the, the, the outer shell that kind of holds the shock together was rusted pretty bad. Assuming you've been doing your lip exercises, I'm going to read the follow-up to your lip exercises, which is don't overuse your lips, okay? How long should that take? Well, pretty much all day. <laughs> Howdy, this is Manic Mark coming to you from the passenger side of the truck. Day number two. The other thing I want to talk about is manuals. The um, Just starting with the ladder rack, because that's fresh in my mind. <clears throat> This is from the 1957 Guide to Glamour, Eleanor King's Guide to Glamour, that's right. No, they don't slide in there. You have to drill holes in the, in the bed of your truck. It has two parts in it, two parts. There's the part that you bolt into your truck and there's the part with the rack that slides into it. Okay, well, it, of course these things are made for all trucks, right? And they show the diagram of how the thing's supposed to go in. But there's no way in, in this truck, the way it's designed, that the thing's going to go in the way the manual shows it. I'm working on a set of putting a set of shocks in. Don't overuse your lips. Such overuse in theater is called mugging. So I... I I have to reconfigure the way the go thing goes in, um, so I turn it a different way than the way they had it in the manual, and I had to use longer bolts, I had to find bolts. And... I just opened this and I'm reading it, and now I'm learning something. I'm learning that, because YouTube essentially is an extension of cinema or television, that lip action on YouTube is apparently... That's almost completely hidden. You can't hardly get to it. It's got one of those things, it's called the nut with the flange. It's called a flag nut. Apparently that's called mugging. But cinema or television star has to guard against it constantly. Now see, you drill your truck and you got, ah, oh, it just took forever. You could get these special little fasteners. Today, with the shocks, um, on screen, a star's face is enlarged so many times, it's true life size, that every slight movement is magnified. Now, well, maybe I don't have to worry about it, because even if you watch my videos at 720 um, DPI, my head is still going to be smaller than the actual size of my head. There's a cone that goes on top of this in the engine with three bolts in it. Of course, they're all rusted. That's got to come off. There's a bolt that holds this in. All that's got to come out. Anyway, so they're just frozen tight. Almost, all I can only get one of them started with a big breaker bar underneath it. I even went as far. I, I got. I finally broke down and I got my um, air wrench out. Now they make the the nut heads with this metal bent metal flange that sticks out about that far. And that's made so you can get up there and you can kind of hold it and then you can turn the bolt and it will catch, you know, on, on part of the frame up there. And it's like giving you a helping hand. So you can, that's fine when they're new and they're not rusted. <laughs> I've sprayed it last night with liquid wrench, okay? <laughs> oh. Um, so the very last one I thought, I'm looking at it, I thought I was going to have to cut it off with the... Don't be guilty of the two causes of lipstick on your teeth. <laughs> Here's the next thing. The bolts are metric threaded, right? So all the bolts are good, but the one nut, I needed a new nut. Don't have one. I don't have anything the right size to go through it. So of course the most embarrassing thing, the next thing step is to go down to the service station and beg them for a... a, 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 a uh, a standard thread bolt and nut so I can finish my job. <laughs> Breaker bar, heavy duty air wrench, liquid wrench, liquid wrench I put on it. I put on it. What is more unsightly than lipstick on the teeth of an otherwise attractive girl? 
<laughs> let me work on it. Would you do your own brain surgery? And as I've said before, yes, I have. And look, it's worked perfectly. Ah, oh, un just unbelievable. And you can't, if you want to cut it off, the only place you can cut it off is on the nut end. But the nut's buried. It's completely buried in, in like, the front end, the axle. There's, there's... <laughs> but I'm going to go to manuals now because on this, this, manuals, this is what drives, you know, because I like to read the manual and, and I take my time and do things, but it never works out right. For instance, on this truck. Thin lip owners have the most trouble in this respect. Poorly applied lipstick causes some of it. Do get an expert to show you what shape your lips should be and what colors you should use. You will learn how to apply a professional lipstick job in Chapter 5. When I change my transmission and trans, uh, for case fluid, I'll drain holes are on, the, uh, on one side of the case. So I'm looking and I find this, the fill hole. I don't, there's no drain hole. Just stupid, just stupid. Lipstick on the teeth is caused by forming the consonants F and V incorrectly. It, it takes me 15 minutes, you know, because I'm looking on the one side before I finally somehow get out and crawl under or look under the other side did the dray holds on the opposite side of the case. Nothing like what's in the manual. To bring the word curmudgeon back into my uh, repertoire of antiquated words, curmudgeon. What does a curmudgeon, what is... Or if you... What? V, who uses V? The letter V, does anyone ever, ever use that letter? So that's, that's just stuff like that, that just, you know, when you're doing your own and rusty stuff. So I guess one of the points of this video is go out and buy some Never Seas. I think it's a brand name, but what it is basically, it's a, a graphite, I think in a petroleum, in a petroleum base, if I'm not mistaken. And you just wipe a little bit on the end of your bolt and thread it through your nuts. And the next time you go to take something apart, it, it will in fact come apart. <laughs> just curmudgeon is kind of when you get your face all like this. A curmudgeon, a curmudgeonly face. This is a curmudgeonly face. As you say, fuss, friend, vacant and vanity. Do your upper teeth close on the front part of your lower lip? <laughs> um, and always leave yourself a whole lot more time than you think you're going to need. Then it's easy to see why you get more than your share of lipstick on your teeth, isn't it? Dumbass. A sock on, one sock, not two socks, but just one sock. You get this look on your face, this curmudgeonly look. This, this, oh. I was thinking, oh, that's what I was thinking of. Like, uh, like, ask, like, what is your, what is the, your top phobia? Since phobias define a person, I think. They're embarrassed by them or not. Um, I think it's better just to make fun of your phobias and just get them out there. <laughs> Instead, place your upper teeth on the back part of your lower lip, where there is no lipstick. And this is a moment, another moment of cheerfulness. God damn it, that train's fucking me up. I'm going to have to turn this thing and turn it back on again. Your F and B. And I was trying to think of irrational fears. That's what a phobia is. I'm trying to think. trying to think like I have this irrational fear of life <laughs> that's too broad I know that's too broad and it needs there needs to be a narrow definition like work that's too easy you know to have a, a phobia fear an irrational fear of doing actual labor you have to be 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 if be it's irrational that crowds should make me feel uncomfortable No, but some people like have fear of snakes. And some people have fear of being up high. And I don't like rust. I hate rust. I have a thing. I have this this irrational fear about rust. Uh, some people fear slow internet connections. They have an irrational fear of slow internet connections. For a while there, I was a little bit concerned. I don't think that was irrational. 
uh, did give me nightmares. I'll probably have this irrational fear of rusty bolts after working on this today. I think I'm gonna, that's the I'm gonna, phobia I'm going to develop. I realize it's not, it's not very exciting. It's not really exciting. All the lipsticks my wife had are, have are sort of muted. What happened to the days when lipstick was bright, just a poor bright red, like... Um, I have an irrational fear of being caught in a time vortex and going back and, and reliving my life again and not being able to change anything. Um, <laughs> it's a thing. Oh, the F word, any lipstick on my teeth. If you go back in time, don't kill your, your grandfather or something like that. Paradox, that's what it is, paradox. But we weren't talking about it. We were, I have irra an, irra irrational, an irrational fear of paradoxes. Those are those little dogs with the long bellies and the floppy ears. They're so cute. This is an example of cheerfulness.